Okay, most of you remember this tractor. This is the one with the loader I picked up for $800. I've actually used this thing a bunch. I've, I've actually put a lot of hours on it, believe it or not. And I've got that piece of a bush hog on it. I actually went and used it yesterday. And uh, I was trying to debate on whether this bush hog's worth fixing or not. Gearbox is really good. Blades are shot. Deck shot. No wheel. I think I can get by with all that, though. I mean, I, I can get a set of blades and put on it. Um, probably blades and bolts are going to have about 80 bucks in it. In that. So it's probably worth it. Uh, it's rusty as can be back here and up front, but I've got plenty of steel. I can plate all that, so we may do something on that here soon. But I want to take and put a backhoe attachment on this tractor. So to do that, we're going to be taking the three-point off, and I won't have anything to use for a bush hog or for my box blade. So uh, I think what we need to do before I do this, before I even decide to do it, the other tractor that I've got, and I'm going to go ahead and show it to you now. Okay, this tractor that I'd picked up, you know, this thing runs. Uh, I've done a video on it. It, uh, the injector pump is not pumping on one side, and everything seems to work. Three-point works. This tractor is set up a little bit different. It don't have power steering. And, it, and of course it don't have a loader either, but uh, it's actually a higher tractor. But it's got a good three point and PTO and everything seems to work. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna see if we can get this thing running and or running on both cylinders. And if this tractor turns out to be okay, I'll keep it for the bush hog and the box blade and then uh, make the other one into a you know a backhoe so uh, the difference with these I, and the problems I think they had with them as you can see this little center right here you know the frame is the tractor and I think my understanding is they break right there and there's just not there's not much strength there so that loader tractor actually has some really big bars running down on each side. So if we do the backhoe attachment, we're going to tie into all that and try to make sure that this thing stays, stays as strong as it can be. And uh, let me see. I never looked in the front. Uh, it, I mean, it's possible I could run a pump off the front. They actually got a, actually got a T slot there for what looks like a... Uh, hand crank but this cover could come off we might can machine the front of the pulley and make an adapter to bolt on there or like I said just run a PTO uh, hydraulic pump and uh, they're just expensive you know I'm looking at $500 for a hydraulic pump for to be able to run the backhoe but I mean I, it would be worth it for what I've got in the tractor and what I've got in the backhoe so we'll see what goes with that but let's go ahead and get uh, see if we can get this thing started back up and I'm going to see if we can get the injector pump apart and see if we can get it running on two cylinders. So, all right, show you more. Okay, folks, here's what I picked up. Hopefully you can see it. The sun's pretty crazy here. But this is actually an attachment for a ditch witch uh, backhoe attachment. Now, this is going to be basically the size of what would have came on the B Blaris uh, or Belarus, whatever you want to call it, but anyway, the Blair's 250, and uh, it's been sitting for quite a while, but we can work with it. Uh, definitely have to uh, come up with a pump. We can either run a pump on the PTO, or we can, uh, if I can get to the front of the engine, I hadn't looked yet to run a pump, it would uh, also work. And, uh, but the pressure lines, air return line, I mean, it's, it's a simple setup. Uh, all the cylinders look good except for there's some pitting on this cylinder So if we have to we can make a new shaft for it and uh, Buckets fair missing one tooth, but I'd say the buckets probably 18 inches So it would be uh, plenty for for that tractor and uh, It'd be nice to have a, a little backhoe on it so anyway, I was able to pick this up in a trade. I really don't have any cash in it, so uh, 
and like I said, it's just been sitting around for quite a while, so we may end up sticking this on there. Okay, instead of firing it up and riding, because we know what it's going to do, I think I'm going to pull the top off this injector pump, the head off of it, and see if uh, I can see anything broke, or we can figure anything out there. Get it off and show you. Okay, folks. Uh, I'm being defeated so far. Uh, I've tried everything I could try. Okay, first off, we're not going to get this head off without tearing into the internals. Okay. Second, okay, the way this works is your governor shaft is right here inside. And when you move your throttle, of course, it moves your governor weights and that puts it to the throttle. Okay, under this, at the bottom of it, is a cam, and it pumps the injector, and or the pump, for, uh, well, you wouldn't call it an injector, but anyway, it pumps the high, the high pressure pump, which then shoots the fuel out, which goes to the cylinders. Uh, the problem is, is no matter what I do, I cannot get fuel out of this one. And uh, I can actually take this primer pump, and even pump it and as you can see I got fuel coming out of this one but not out of the other one so no matter what I do I cannot seem to get fuel uh, I'm kind of at a loss right this minute and I don't know what separates these up because I mean I wouldn't think it would fire every rotation or let me rephrase that I don't think it would fire both cylinders at the same time or, you know, inject a fuel on both cylinders. So my question is, is what times it? What uh, tells this one to do it and then tells this one to do it? And, I, you know, the breakdowns I've got on this I'm looking at are not showing me a whole lot. I'm not seeing anything that would rotate in here to time it. So, I mean, they could fire both at the same time. I just don't know. And uh, the way the cam set up, uh, I mean, I don't think, I don't, you know, that's not dual cam or anything like that. So I'm kind of at a loss here. And uh, I'm going to keep messing with it. This is just a plug you can take out. Uh, I just, I cannot get pressure out of that side for some reason whatsoever. And I don't know if there's something broke or something plugged or what inside this high pressure head but it's definitely our problem is definitely from here up it's nothing in the governor it's nothing in the you know the actual uh, governor housing or anything like that it's actually in this high pressure head somehow but to get it out I don't know if we've got to pull the entire injector pump off or what but we may have to before it's over with but uh, I think I'm gonna stick the fitting back on it and just see if I can get this tractor to fire back up on one cylinder let it run with this cap off. I've taken everything off. You know, there's there's springs and uh, pressure relief valves in here, but I might try to run it without them on it at all, and maybe maybe it'll free something up or get something out of it. But besides that, I, I've gotten nowhere. Uh, and without tearing into it further, I don't think I'm going to get anywhere. But I'm going to try that first. it's back to getting in a book and studying a little bit try to figure out what's going on but definitely got an issue in that hit all right let me see what I can figure out and uh, I'll show you more okay folks uh, I was wrong I was absolutely wrong about this uh, 
you know, I was assuming that it was uh, in the head. It's not. Okay. What I done was uh, messed with a little more. I kept thinking about that timing issue. You know, there's no way that, you know, there's got to be a way that this thing times from, you know, one injector to the other injector. And uh, so I decided to start checking a few things out, and I did figure it out. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see in there, but uh, you, you can see that turning in there. That's the governor turning. And another thing I noticed was when I revved this thing up, it sort of was out of control. So the governor is not working. It's not working because the governor's not rotating. Okay, what we have is one, we've got one cam lobe here that's got a double lobe on it. That's for the injector pump. Then the shaft comes on back and it actually has a gear here to run up to and operate the, the governor, but it also has another gear that swaps back. Well, it don't swap back. Actually, let me see if I can see it. Move this. Okay. There you go. If you look inside there, there's a gear. And when I turn this, you can see the gear turning. Okay. That's the gear that operates the timing for the injector pump. And that's what tell these, tells these two to, to go. Now what I done was I turned it a ways and then I cranked this thing over and we got pressure out of it. So, and I might can do it with the uh, primer here. Let me see. Let me turn. See if I can turn the, turn it around until it gets to that point. Okay, it's getting hard. Ah, there we go. As you can see so that's what was happening basically what it was like uh, it would be like a distributor breaking a shaft and the rotor button pointing toward one cylinder and that same cylinder firing every time and you know you wouldn't be able to figure out why the other cylinder wasn't firing that's what was happening it wasn't rotating so what we've got is an issue with a gear in the bottom possibly or it could be a, a key shear key I'm guessing it's probably a gear I think we can take the governor apart, take this off, take part of it out of the top. This shaft is a two-piece shaft. Okay, it's got another cam lobe here to operate the fuel pump. Uh, bearing back here, cam lobe, and then uh, the gear, and then a coupler. So the, it's a two-piece shaft. The gear is going to be right in here because the governor travels right here. So it's going to be right in here. And there'll be another coupler here. So this shaft should actually come out the back side. And we should be able to replace this and fix it uh, with it on the tractor. Problem's going to be timing it. We've got to figure out how to time this to the injector pump. And, but we'll get it. But it just so happened that that injector pump turned and stopped while it was actually firing on this cylinder. And that's why we was firing every time on that cylinder. So it's kind of a weird setup, weird thing to happen, but but it happened, and uh, now we've just got to figure out how we're going to fix it. So we're going to start by pulling this fuel pump off. We're going to pull this back plate off, and we're going to see if we can get it apart. Now I've got a parts catalog. I do have part numbers for them parts, but whether I'm going to be able to get them or not, I don't know. Uh, but if it's a problem with a you know a key or something like that, we can you know maybe it's something we can fix. Maybe the teeth's not off the gear, and. Uh, I don't know. We'll just have to go, you know, go with what we find and go from there. Uh, if I can find an old used pump, you know, that the, the pump was bad on or something, high pressure side, we could get the gears out of it. But uh, anyway, I hope you understand what I'm trying to explain about what's wrong with it. But uh, we're going to, or the, you know, why, why it was doing what it was doing anyway. But uh, we're going to go ahead and get to uh, tearing it apart now and seeing if we can really get in there and figure out what uh, what we can do to fix it all right I'll show you when I get it apart okay uh, video is gonna get kind of long so I'm gonna cut this in two parts and this is gonna be part one of course but uh injector pump is off and I don't know whether we're gonna try to fix it or not 
I know the shear key is bad in the bottom, but it feels like the gear is loose on the shaft too, so maybe an issue with that. I don't know if I can get parts for this pump or not. I really don't know. And uh, we'll see. If we uh, if we can't, well, we may order a pump. Uh, don't care to spend the money, but you know sometimes you're better off if I can find an old pump that you know the, uh, the high pressure head or something's bad in. I can get the parts I need, but uh, chances of that are probably pretty slim. So anyway, that's where we're at on this until we can get uh, something figured out, and then uh, we're definitely going to do something, whether I fix this pump or I order a pump. So there'll definitely be another video on this thing. But uh, till then, appreciate you watching. Bye.